everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be following a five minute craft video teaching me how to make flower crowns. So this idea was suggested to me by one of my subscribers in the comments in one of my last videos. So make sure that you comment if you have any great ideas for projects that I can work on. So now getting on with this video, um, I'm going to go ahead and be watching this five minute craft video as I'm kind of filming and trying to follow along with it. Um, it's only like, I don't know, maybe like a 30 second clip so it goes really fast so I feel like I'm going to have to make up a lot of it as I go. So um, send prayers, blessings because I'm not a crafter. Alright, let's give it a watch. Okay, so it starts already with some sort of ring with, I think, the floral tape around it. I watched this video like once or twice last week just to make sure that I could go ahead and get all the supplies. I got my supplies all at the dollar store. In the video, it looks like they have real flowers, but I have these fake ones. And because it's springtime, there's lots of really beautiful ones at the dollar store right now. So I got my flowers and my floral tape and floral wire and my ribbon, all from the dollar store. So I'm going to have to start with this ring. I think that they like made measured their head with it and made a ring and then covered that ring in floral tape. <laughs> oh man. This crafting is dangerous. Okay. Fit it around my head once. And then I'm going to double that length. Okay. That's pretty good. Alright, so now that it's double my length, this seems a lot better. I'm just going to kind of twist my wire, I think, to put them together. You guys are probably really <laughs> cringing at home watching me do this. I realized that I forgot to set a timer. I wanted to know how long it actually takes. Because I don't know how literal they are with five minute crafts, but... Okay, we're starting. From now. And it's already been a couple minutes. And... The check, does it fit? Yeah, it fits pretty good. Okay. Okay. So, in the video, it looks like it's already covered in this floral tape too. So, I'm going to get out my floral tape. And then, uh, I'm just going to wrap this around here. So I was thinking about like the closest thing I've ever made to a flower crown and I think it's um, you know when you're a kid and then you go out into like the playground and there's these little white flowers that are, they're really cute and small and they have really long stems and then you get those flowers and you tie them together into like bracelets or like crowns or something like that. I think that's the closest I've ever been. I actually did that somewhat recently, actually. We were on a family vacation and I made them for all the kids and they really liked it. And it was a lot easier than this. So, did anyone else make those little flower crowns? Except the only problem with them is there was always like a whole bunch of like bees that liked pollinating them. So you had to be careful. I'm just gonna cut a piece because then I don't have to deal with this. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is better. Okay, cut a piece and then kind of just feed it through like this so then it doesn't get stuck. This is so much better. These would be really cute if they turn out cute. They'd be really cute at like a wedding. Five minutes later and I have my ring, but it doesn't seem super, it doesn't have a lot of like security to it, but that's okay. Because I'm just going with it. Okay. Now we finally can get to our video. Okay, got my ring. Get 
flowers. A lot of them. Do I tie them one at a time? The first time she did it, she had like... I need to rewind. The first time she did it, she had like five flowers before she tied them. flowers don't have the, they're not like fresh or anything, so they need to be cut off of these stems. I kind of want to include some of the leaves, maybe, so I'm going to cut them right under the leaf. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut them all off. Bada bing, bada boom. She put them on. And she kind of bunched a couple together, so you know, bunch a couple. And I think the leaves make it pretty, so I'll try to keep some of those. And if I don't tape these, there's no way they're gonna stay. So I'm gonna tape them right now. So I'm just gonna get my tape and Cut a piece again because that worked really well for me the other time. <laughs> no one would buy these from me off of Etsy. I swear they would be like, what kind of child made this? Shoddy craftsmanship. keep going. Okay. Oh, I kind of like this now. And then I'm just going to repeat again. I'm going to get my these and cut and cut and tape and cut and tape. And let's zoom through this super fast. Okay, so this is kind of my end product. It's getting loose in some places, which isn't a good sign. But I left a little space at the bottom like they did in the video. Oh, I need to tape this one up. But, yeah, so I'm going to retape and reinforce some stuff, and then we'll keep on watching the video to the end. Yeah, she gets the ribbon. Does it confusing not? Okay, I've got my ribbon. I think I need it pretty long. I think it's pretty if it's long. And then she double fold it in half. Put the bottoms through. Ha! Yeah, boy! That's what I'm talking about! Look at me crafty crafty! Ah! I did it! Okay. So, should we do a fashion show? Okay, I'll be back. Oh, let's finish watching till the end. Okay, ribbon, check. You pick it up. Oh, and then you're just really glamorous. You're beautiful. Okay, got it. Okay, well, I'm going to go get glamorous, I guess, for the end of this video, so hang tight. final thoughts one there's a bit of a learning curve and so once you can like kind of get it it goes a lot faster two it took me like an hour it took me 49 49 minutes and 58 seconds um, after I got the ring thing done so in all it took me about an hour to do which is longer than five minutes but I think they just mean like quick crafts and it was pretty quick so so, especially for me, not having any idea of what I'm doing. Um, there are some tricks to it though, like cutting this tape, they didn't show that. She just really didn't show me how to do it. She gave me the gist of it, but I kind of had to figure it out myself. So yeah, make sure that 
you do the wire like maybe three times instead of like two times like I did it. Make sure that you put a variety of flowers in like skinny ones and big ones just to make sure that it kind of gives it like this like oh bouquet kind of look instead of having like all big ones. So if you need to save that coin, I got you. And you're like having a wedding or something and you can't buy these crowns or you're going to a festival and you can't do it. You should do it yourself because once I got the hang of this, shoot, if I could do it, anyone could do it. All right, well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it so I know that you like it, and subscribe because it really helps me out. All right, thanks, guys, so much. See you next time.